um good afternoon everyone um i would all the students to like switch on your camera so that it can be easier to mark attendance okay. Good afternoon, everyone. It is our pleasure here at the placement cell of HR College to introduce Mr. Soumya Ranjan, who will be leading today's session. Mr. Soumya Ranjan is the Chief Operating Officer of the BFSI Security Skill Council of India. BFSI Sector Skill Council was set up to bring leading organizations of the BFSI industry together to create strategies and operational plans that will create financial literacy for all and standardize skill requirements for the various jobs in the BFSI industry. We are thrilled to have you with us here today, sir. Before we get started, I would like to introduce our principal, Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, whose expertise has always been our guiding light. Unfortunately, Pooja ma'am could not join us today due to prior commitments. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Naveen Punjabi, Associate Professor and Director of the Placement Cell. As all of us know him as a very enterprising and enthusiastic man with a vision to ignite minds and awaken hearts. Unfortunately, Naveen sir could not join us today due to some unforeseen circumstances. Today's session will focus on soft skill development. So, I now invite you to address our students and share our share your valuable insights. Thank you very much, and a very good afternoon to everyone. Am I audible, Naomi? Yes, sir. Right. <clears throat> so. A very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I don't know whether I'm visible or not. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, you're visible, sir. <laughs> Great. So, good to see you all. And uh, I, I'm, I'm very glad that I'm, I'm there. I was, I was invited by Mr. Punjabi. And uh, I've been knowing uh, Tasneem, uh, one of your professors, uh, for quite a long time. And we, it's it's again a pleasure to be there with you again and talking to you something which is uh, a need of the hour. So before we start, and uh, I get into something uh, to to deliver or to deliberate on what is soft skill. I would like to know from some of you what is that you are expecting uh, with respect to soft skill. And what is your understanding of soft skill as on today? Or why do you think this topic has been chosen and this is something of some importance to you? So you can choose it in any way, any order, and anybody can uh, respond to this uh, two, three questions of mine so that we actually set expectations and we know where are we standing before we start the program. Go ahead. Anyone? Uh, you guys are on mute, so somebody, I, I think, Naomi, they can unmute themselves if they want to speak or you will have to unmute them. Um, no, sir, they can unmute. Um, please raise so, your hand and unmute and answer. Yeah, so anyone, there are a lot of participants, so a anybody who is there, uh, in fact, uh, Naomi, you can be the one who can start off uh, so that, you know, let's break the ice from you. Yeah. Um, so, sir, according to me, um, so in today's time, soft skill development is really important. Um, something as little as let's say communication or networking, um, it takes you quite a few places, and um, it's one of the most vital things that apart from your uh, apart from the skill that you require on the job to maybe sustain and even grow on the job, um, you require soft skills. I think uh, you have said it in a very crisp way. Uh, indeed, <clears throat> soft skill is something which, uh, which is very important. But it is not seen visible, uh, you know, at every point of time. But it is always there at every point of time. Okay. Now, <clears throat> how many of you have uh, uh, have got an offer uh, as of today? How many of you have already uh, got an offer? And uh, if you if you can just uh, perhaps raise your hand, I can know that how many of them are those who have got an offer can raise their hand. So. Uh, I mean, it's not that you have to say which company, but I just want to know how many of them are there. So is there any way that I can understand? I can see from here somewhere that uh, hands have been raised. Okay. So I see a couple of hands going up. 
भाविका ओके नो वरीज सो आई आई थिंक आई थिंक सम मोर हैंड्स विल गो अप स्लोली एंड स्टडीली सो improves the relationship between the employer and the employee and have a good communication okay this is anchal bhatia fine great is there any, anyone else who who can uh, type something over here i think there is a chat option we let me open that chat thing okay is there anyone else who is writing something communication presentation skills okay indeed it is definitely communication okay there is it's a communication but communication is not only between the employee and the employer the communication is between two people you know two individuals he can be your boss he can be your subordinate he can be a internal customer he can be an external customer he can be anybody who is interacting with you okay now soft skill is something which makes <clears throat> makes you acceptable palatable it allows you to be near to people they don't shy away from you they don't shoo you away that is something which is important did i lost you guys okay so so what happens is that it all starts with uh, i mean normally we don't Or don't don't think about soft skills but uh, we have been we have the skills getting developed by virtue of our own you know uh, friend circle family circle relations that we have uh, around us right from our childhood uh, there there are some people over here in this group who might say that uh, sir i am actually a introvert i don't like to uh, spend Uh, time and waste my time with people i i like to be on my own in my own world i prefer to see my movies and videos and i stay over there and there are some who say you know no sir i cannot live without my friends i would like to you know <clears throat> meet them up talk to them uh, move around with them uh, and i'm i'm very happy if i am them there with them but if i feel very lonely if they are not there with me and they also are like always you know uh, like a honey bee are there around me why why is that somebody some people are around you <clears throat> it's because probably because you are somebody they want to be in their group if you would have been a person they don't want to be in a group they will ensure that you are no more there near to the, near them or <clears throat> they don't come to you and meet you up certain certain Uh, attributes of a person defines that how he is uh, amicable how much he is approachable how people like him as a person is the indication that he is starting he has started already acquiring certain soft skills you know so soft skill is not just one single word it, it is it is not just one single attitude that you have it's not about a behavior pattern that you have there are a lot of things there are a lot of things which goes into that the way you present yourself the way you talk the way you express your your uh, your happiness or your anger everything everything is a part of your soft skill but when it comes to the age that you are right now that you are uh, you know probably you are about to move out of the college you need this soft skill in a in a in a specific way and what kind of uh, what kind of soft skill that you are look, really looking at what kind of soft skill is something that is really going to help you uh, in the next couple of months somebody said communication okay very important why important because you have to make yourself sensible enough to the person who is talking to you and in in, in these these months the only guy who is important for you is the guy who is going to take interview i mean you are really not bothered about who what others think about you but you are always bothered about that individual who is going to come across you for 5 minutes and who will take your interview whom you have no idea who he is 
and you don't have any idea that what he what background he comes from you know what is his knowledge level only you know that ki this guy has got certain power in his hand that he can either reject me or can accept me as an potential employee now that is where you want to bring in your best to impress this guy so what what all soft skills that you are looking uh, you need to bring in to ensure that this guy is uh, you know is, is somebody who is happy uh, talking to you and is more or less uh, willing to offer you a job one you are able to communicate you are able to communicate about yourself your thought process you are able to communicate about uh, <clears throat> what you wish to do uh, in in next couple of years you are able to communicate what you can do for the company in which you want to, which you have applied you are able to communicate why should the company take you in and uh, pay you a good salary and what they can expect from you and what you can deliver you can communicate to them about how much you know about the competitors just one second huh? one second one second uh okay so all i was saying is that during this interview this 5 minutes of interaction you try to bring in a lot your best to show that you have that thing within you and you are trying to convince that guy by only speaking you think that you are only speaking and you are trying to convince him by your communication and uh, probably uh, but but trying to bring in all the knowledge that you have about the market the product the processes the policies uh, stuff uh, things like maybe the political technological economical situations uh, that is available which you can correlate all these things you might be trying to do but what also you are doing which you may not be thinking about is the body language your eye contact your willingness to listen to what he is saying your behavior in the room you know probably how you pick up the uh, the cup or the glass of water which has been given to you how you place it how you keep it on the table probably that handshake that you do that handshake that you do with that guy also tells him the warmth that you transfer the warmth that you have the thank you that you tell that you say is the tone that you do have in that thank you or probably the good afternoon or the good evening or the good morning whatever you communicate gives lot of inputs okay these are all part of the communication only but then this also is communicate is getting communicated to him without your knowledge okay so your lot lot of your your the way you are dressed up for that uh, occasion tells you tells tells the person a lot about you okay the uh, the way you are groomed okay the way you are you have uh, uh, if you is there are there, there are occasions where people just forget to have uh, a good shave before they go in for their uh, interview if you are a person who is normally uh, you don't like to keep beard then you need to be well shaved okay so these are couple of things uh, maybe for the girls if you if you see i would say that ki uh if you don't normally don't uh, put up a lot of makeup or you don't put up jewelry then on a day of day like that you should be very sober no need of you know putting up something which you are not it's it's not you so you will awkward you will look very awkward you will be uncomfortable and probably all that will get projected over there so that's one side that's one side of your bringing your soft skill during the time that you are getting interviewed for a job that is where the communication and your presentability is is something which uh, is is going to help you 
and that is why it is becoming important for you to know how do you speak in in uh, in, in a situation like this how much it is essential that you speak i only speak or is it essential that you need to also uh, what we call modulate your voice you should also keep some time sometimes your mouth shut and listen carefully if if somebody is giving you a very critical question you also need to listen to him that's also very important also it is important that if you don't understand the situation you don't understand the question you also have that confidence of asking question you know putting the thing in a different word in in a, in a uh, simple word just to ensure that you have got the point correctly otherwise most of the time would it happens that we hear a statement okay we hear a statement we interpret a statement the way we understand and we answer it we give a reply without knowing that whether my understanding is correct or not okay so that also is a part of your skill that if you are able to make a complicated statement first convert it into a easier statement a acceptable palatable lucid statement get a confirmation that is this what you want to say that means you have the you have shown the ability to comprehend okay first and foremost you can make a complex situation into a simple situation a complex statement into a simple statement if you can do that that also gives you a gives enough information to the your interviewer that uh that you are a person who is uh, you know has the, has that ability now moving on to uh, moving on from uh, simple interview situation where your skills will be checked which is obviously they are not going to ask you to do uh, many things over there except for talking business so your communication definitely gets checked apart from that the soft skill where it will come into picture is that when you start actually engaging with the customers or when i say customer both internal and external so when you join a company when you join a company you will eventually you will come across an hr or you will come across a, a business uh, person who would be your senior or superior or a supervisor whichever way you want to call it then you will come to see your peers then you will come to know people who are in they are they are not your bosses but they are somebody who who can give feedback about you to your boss and probably he is your internal customer your other department who with which whom with whom you are going to interact again there all these things will come in a different way okay how you are able to push your put your problem statement in front of them are you able to empathize or sympathize with the problem that they are facing most of the time we become very demanding okay we think that you okay fine i have to get my job done i am a task master i i have my boss has told me ki boss ye aaj sham tak ho jana chahiye okay but that doesn't mean that you go and and you know bully a guy on the other side of the other department and say ki boss my boss has told it should be done it has to be done so again some soft skills come into picture as to how do you sensitize your probably your internal customer that why it is important for a particular job to be done today how it is going to impact the company how it is going to impact the customer who is going to get uh, you know get the benefit of this activity is he going to feel good about it do you feel good about it is that person who is going to do the job is he feeling good about it is he feeling is he actually understanding that he by what he is doing by stretching himself is doing a favor to the organization and organization is very thankful for that this 
mechanism of sensitizing a situation to your own self or to your colleague so that they come up and deliver is also a skill. So there are two ways. You motivate people to do something. So you have a characteristic concept. So either you show a carrot or you show a stick. Stick will work once. Carrot may work, work a number of times because once you show carrot, it automatically gets into the DNA of the person. So, so some, some, some companies you see people are motivated. Across the company, everybody is motivated. And some place, some companies, some uh, organizations, if you go, you will find everybody is upset. Nobody wants to work. The thing, why? Why? The question is why? Because there is something which is going wrong. Okay. So your soft skill will only influence, probably will influence somebody else to do activity which is favoring you or which will favor you or which will favor your department or which will favor your customer. And in, in, in the long run, it will help the company achieve its target, which typically I'm, I'm looking from the, not from the profit point of view, not from the bottom line point of view or the top line point of view. I'm talking from the point of view of branding or the customer delight. Okay. So that's, that's one why soft skills are again uh, you know very very important uh, part of our day to day day to day activity i'm again losing you guys or what i don't know uh, uh, day to day activity in your organization sorry you are audible uh, to us am i audible to you now yeah yes sir okay so Till now, we have spoken about something. We, we spoke about, uh, you know, situations where uh, a soft skill of a person is, uh, is, is, is required and is, is of importance. Now, I would like to ask a question. How do you develop these soft skills? Is there a mechanism? Can you go and get soft skill from somewhere? And say, okay, fine. Give me an input. I can. I, I would like to buy a uh, uh, fifty grams of a uh, soft skill uh, of listening or a one kg of soft skill of uh, confidence. How do you? How do you develop this soft skill? Anyone? 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 Come on. Uh, is the entire entire thing getting dragged because of the cameras being on? So you guys, uh... um, Jay, you can unmute and speak. Okay. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I would like to answer the question. Yeah. So I think uh, soft skills can be practiced and uh, with with the company of some professional person, and uh, we have to do it like uh, the actors practice their play. Uh, we have to uh, practically do it, do like uh, greetings or listening skills, and with the proper guidance and proper suggestion of a professional trained person, uh, we can uh, develop faster. Exactly. You you have said it, Jay. It's only practice. It is only practice by which you can develop your soft skill. Soft skill is not overnight activity. You can't put a mask and go into the outer world and uh, say that, you see, here, here I'm going to be behaving like a professional. Okay. So what happens is that you have to actually imbibe this. Okay. You have to start accepting that what is good and how do I do that? It is an act. I'm telling you, it's an act. So no, nobody is nobody is asking you to be goody goody every now and then. You sometimes have to be assertive, and you know you have to you you need to know how to even show your anger. You also have to sometimes shout back on people if required. But 
what should be under what situation you should and in what situation you should still maintain your cool so one thing for sure you need not there should not be any situation within the company where you are shouting back on your customer okay that, should, that i i don't think that the, any company would agree to that you are shouting back on a customer at the most you can put him at rest by you know just saying fine i apologize there is something gone wrong with you i understand whatever it is so you basically try to convince him to put put him at rest but sometimes you might get, get into a quarrel with somebody in in the train and the bus that's quite possible so as a person i am not saying that ki you need to be goody goody every now and then but i am saying in a professional uh what do you call uh, uh, situation when you are there certain skills have to be practiced you have to put a full stop to certain things okay what jay said is absolutely right and before practicing what do you do so what do you, what do you think uh, as a child as a child before the child starts speaking you know any language what must be what must be actually happening in the child what is what what, what how does he uh, what, what do you think a child would be doing or is doing before he starts speaking anyone yeah jay you can say something observing and learning who said that krish yeah krish krish mehta perfect observing and learning and listening okay observing now you would would have seen many people start copying they have an you know uh, what do you call uh, they believe that this guy is 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 the is the smartest guy in my in my office or my college or my uh, society or wherever it is uh, and uh, i need to be like him what do you do you 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 start copying him the way he walks the way he talks the way he behaves and the way he you know moves around the way he, he speaks his body language everything you try to copy the same way a child does the same thing you you don't you don't have to really take the child to uh, you know uh, a school to make his first couple of statements his his father and mother or her father and mother are good enough environment for the child to understand that how i need to speak i you would now understand one more thing is that some ch children they speak nicely you know they will speak as if you know they are adults some would speak as if they are uh, you know like doremon because they are so much exposed to Dor doremon probably that they would speak like them so it's all about what you see what you observe and what you adopt so a soft skill has to be adopted if you decide a particular pattern if you decide a particular pattern to be to to accept first you have to decide that ki what is that i want to become how many have seen uh, this movie called mask was the name of the movie called mask is it a old movie perhaps you guys have uh, anybody heard about this movie the mask yes sir good i think priyanka said, said that yes sir okay so so priyanka tell me what is that i'm trying to indicate in this movie called mask 
so i think it's mostly i've not watched the movie completely but it's mostly based on the person changes its face every time he comes out correct 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 you got it got it you got it you have hit the, uh, the, the, uh, the you are on the on the spot it's about the person's internal you know instinct which starts getting displayed the moment he wears that mask okay so we would like to wear a mask by which we would wish that i start sounding like amitabh bachchan i start moving in front of you like you know amitabh bachchan or i i start behaving i, I the my the way i speak it it to you guys it should look like some somebody called somebody like shashi tharoor is talking that is if if i would i, I can have a scenario where i can put on a mask and i become i wish to become shashi tharoor i become shashi tharoor i want to sound like amitabh bachchan i sound like amitabh bachchan but it's not that easy so what i'm saying is that if you want to pick up a business personality whom you would like to copy whom you who you think is the most ideal uh, personality with 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 a behavior which is uh, absolutely perfect i would like to have this kind of a personality then you need to start observing and start adopting very important very important you if you don't practice if you don't observe observe minutely very very minute observation is required that's why it is it's not hard it's soft because you will then start blending your style into that okay it's not essential that you every time you should copy the way others uh, do it you can bring in your own style also the only objective the only objective that you should have is that can you bring in something original from your side and the outcome that you should wish is that at the end of my end of the day end of the transaction end of the discussion my counterpart who is talking to me doesn't feel bored is not is not like you know kab khatam hoga mujhe kaise bhagna hai theek hai when i can get lost get lost from this place or how can i ensure that this guy is out of this place he should not feel uncomfortable with you and you should know and you should know when he will become uncomfortable and to what extent you can you know keep his attention on to you that's again important you know if if you if you if you are listening to avita bachchan perhaps you start you you said start feeling good about it for the first one hour for the next two hours three hours but if you have avita bachchan sitting in front of you for 10 hours you'll say like, boss both ho gaye yaar i want to switch it off i can't stand him any more so again it's very important for you to understand that what is the span of attention of a person in front of you soft skill again is going to be something called something which is very very um uh, what do you call uh, akin to human behavior so if you guys have you few people have a subject called organizational behavior okay in inside organizational behavior that there might be a topic called transactional analysis if you happen to go through that topic of transactional analysis well and good you would have you would know what i'm trying to say in case you have not gone through the, the come, come across this try to see if you can get hold of this of this topic called transactional analysis okay it is nothing it very simple simple human being human tendencies a boy is always you know liked by his mother the girl 
is always liked by his by her father a typical you know cross connections you have a situation where your uh, if your senior is a female uh, then you will find the you know the juniors junior who if he is a male uh, they are very sober they are they are very decent if if uh, the senior is is a is a male member and a junior is a young uh, girl who has just come out of college she will try to impress upon him that ki how brilliant she is uh, how worthy she is she is even better than all the boys around okay at uh, this this uh, uh, transaction between the both the both two different genders is something also which is a part of your uh, understanding which you need to understand it's not that i'm trying to talk to you about organizational behavior or transactional analysis i'm i'm talking about your soft skill when you deal with people of opposite sex or opposite gender the way you present yourself the way you talk has to be different than you talk to your same gender people so so if you if you are uh, talking to uh, i mean uh, suppose let's say jay is talking to somebody who is his friend let's say jay is talking to 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 uh, krish fine they might talk in a different tone and it is still palatable and it is still good and palatable but if jay is talking to neomi if jay is going to talk to neomi then he needs to be little careful as to what tone he has to supposed to use what language is supposed to use what is supposed to what kind of body language he should have uh, that's again a part of your soft skill when you interact with people of opposite gender how you behave how you speak what you speak what kind of body language you are showing is again important again you go back to your point 1 interviews point 2 interaction engagement with your customers superiors seniors peers whatever way you say so in short two very important things one is your personality development okay second is your communication third is your presentation presentation is not only powerpoint presentation presentation is about yourself you might not have a single powerpoint so there are people who give uh, i don't know uh, there there are people who give a uh, uh, 1 minute pitch to to ceos a C, ceo would give you exactly 1 minute to listen to you and in that 1 minute you have to impress upon him that also needs a lot of skill how do you attract his attention for that one minute what kind of uh, words you have chosen what is that how how you have skillfully picked up the problem statement which exactly you know st sticks to his mind and he is like you know okay, yeah i agree this is a problem statement and then he starts listening to you is he willing to lend his ears to you is the question okay and, and in that one minute you are able to come out with one solution saying that okay, sir i have a solution for this problem statement provided you give me one another minute probably okay and this can help you save this much amount of rupees this problem money the question is that sir are you interested in listening to it now soft skill is not about only displaying your personality it is about also 
engaging with people you can you can only uh, pursue a matter you can pursue a, 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 a or you can continue a negotiation you can complete a transaction only if the discussion is on and the discussion can only come to a logical conclusion and probably a win-win situation for both the parties is the party who's actually actually going to gain out of it one to will definitely gain the one who is so typically what happens the two there's the buyer and there's a seller okay there's a buyer and a seller in all transaction you take it the way you 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 can see there's always a buyer and a seller you go to a doctor you 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 are buying his services he's selling his services you go to a, a hotel or a restaurant you are buying something and he's selling something but at the end of the day both the parties are happy why because somebody is getting money and somebody is getting satisfaction right so in 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 your career also you would be sometime negotiating hard to get something from somebody either a deal or a order or a, a approval it can be it can be anything but something that you are looking forward something that you are negotiating hard again you will be using not only your knowledge not only your uh, information data that you have with you you will be using something which is again something i can put it in 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 this uh, under the heading of soft skills you will be using your body language you'll be using your uh, ability to uh, speak convincingly uh, coherently uh, make having enough voice modulation to ensure that bringing emotion to what you're saying bringing passion to what you're saying giving time to listen to his point his, his the other guy's point of view agreeing to certain points that he has made which is probably is correct and then giving him a logic that ki why what you are saying is 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 something which is equally important that he should need to listen to it this argument also is a skill that you need to bring in okay so in, in during your during your uh, you know career days you you will when you start working along with your peers there will be competition there going to be serious severe competition just imagine suppose three of you join let's say i i can just pick up the name i mean just because it's that neom is one jay is one krish is one let's say okay they will say ki was are you targeting us no i am not targeting you i am just picking up the names that you, because i recollect your names if you guys come and join one single same company okay at the end of the day when i say end of the day means end of the year you all will be going through your first appraisal and the question is there will be a rating system which is going to give one rating to somebody two to somebody and three to somebody now nobody wants to become a three rating three rating guy if if three is the best or one is the best you need to decide first let's say one is the best so everybody wants to get rating 1 but then the company has a policy that they can only give one guy that rating of 1 there is one who has to fall into 2 and there is one who has to fall into 3 the question is who is going to willingly come to the last rating nobody will be willing to come everybody say ki boss mai to 1 pe aaunga Joint them, sabi sabi ne kiya. We all from same college. We all were taught by Mr. Punjabi. So how come I can be number three? Why not the other girl or the other boy should go for number number three? One to merely reserve jana chahiye. You will find that these soft skills that we are talking about probably, whether we talk or we don't talk, you will say that there is some something which is some underlying undercurrent which is there which is making one guy. go and get that slot number 1 okay 
one can say okay fine he achieved his target that is why he is uh, there but how did he achieve his target either he was too lucky okay so so uh, just just to cut this uh, uh, you know boring subject how many of you do how many of you think uh, rahul gandhi has a real soft skill you know uh, there with him and does does he need some uh, soft skill to be developed further how many of you agree to that is is there anybody who says that ki he has all that is required all soft skill that that is required uh, is there with him only thing is luck is not favoring him jay what is what do you think he is already scratching his head or you don't want to make any comment <laughs> so again there is there can be a you know situation where uh, you know where you would you would find that without this soft skill thing it is very difficult very difficult you might be knowing everything that is that is required but you would need you would need these uh, you know uh, you need attitude you need attitude again you know people say ki attitude is not a skill attitude is is attitude it, it is somebody you know ki bhai ye egoistic banda hai ye aise koi ego hi nahi hai koi self esteem hi nahi hai ha people are there who say but a bringing a positive attitude towards towards a situation or in your job in your workplace i am all i'm talking about workplace okay in your life so it is very good but in workplace you need some extra attitude that also is a part of your skill uh, soft skill because that is very cancerous that positive attitude that you bring in can spread it can influence others and a negative attitude can influence equally negative to others so are you sending out positive vibes are you sending out negativism or are you sending out positivism do you see a solution or do you see an opportunity and in every problem or you see always helplessness in every situation so what you see and what you speak how do you react is again a part of your your personality so you train yourself ki boss even if i see something bad happening in, in front of me i'll keep my mouth shut i'll not open up and i'll try to say something only which sends a positive signal otherwise i'll not say something so there are people who don't use uh, negative words at all they have developed that skill so anyways i think uh neomi i told neomi that i'll be having a heart stop at 355 350 i have already 355 i know there's somebody else who's going to be uh, sitting on my head in next 5 minutes guys i have taken a lot of your time i'll just sum it up at in one shot i really don't have to speak uh, you know something out of the world you all guys are matured you all are about to become graduates you all know what exactly this uh, the importance of soft skill you cannot go and buy soft skill from market if you have you haven't practiced it you need to start practicing it and i can tell you it is not easy that if you start today that next in 3 days something will happen please practice it forever keep practicing it because this is one which will you know which you stop practicing it it will come back to its original thing it has to be you know deliberately put on yourself you have to wear that mask permanently 
till you don't get it doesn't get into your dna okay you start believing yourself you know i am not the person which which people think i should i am i am a different person you have to start telling yourself you know i am not i am a positive person i am a positive person so i will speak positive i'll find things around me positive i'll find positiveness in everybody even if there is a negativism in somebody that's okay it is there because every north north uh, pole has got a south pole every you know uh, 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 you know what do you call electron or something uh, or in the scientific part so there are two sides of the coin but i'll always look at the positive part of it and ignore the negative part of it right this is the way this attitude if you bring in then your approach towards skill development and soft skill development to be precise will will get uh, you know will get actually uh, impactful and will get it will work in your favor so my submission to all of you uh, with the time that is I'll spend a minute more to go uh, please practice please adopt the sorry yeah so yeah yeah so so please adopt the right set of people look for the leaders look for the traits that they have look for the way they speak the way they talk the way they negotiate the present themselves look don't look at just one guy look at many such people okay look at the videos and probably you will come to know that you are very near to somebody you are very near to somebody but you find the ideal guy and you start moving as nearer nearer to that particular personality okay the the way you once you start demonstrating your your uh, you know yourself your skills will automatically start showing up and nothing will happen overnight don't worry if you start make mistakes you will make mistakes you are a human being you will make mistakes learn from your mistakes that's more important making mistake is not a problem at all you will make mistakes be happy that you have made a mistake because if you have made a mistake today then you know that you will not make a mistake later on a, in a more critical or in a worse situations that's all from my side uh, thank you very much for uh, bearing with me listening to me patiently i don't know how much of sense i have said but this is what i have been able to communicate to you what i have acquired over so many years very important very very important very difficult to acquire but not impossible to acquire it is possible just practice it thank you very much neomi and and hr college for giving this opportunity thank you again um on behalf of the placement sir i want to extend our sincere gratitude to mr soumya ranjan for his insightful and engaging session today it was both informative and highly beneficial we also appreciate the ongoing support and guidance from our principal dr pooja ramchandani and the director of placements dr navin punjabi um students please remember to complete the feedback form that is given in the chat box um thank you all for joining us today thank you thank you everyone uh i know that uh, this is this, this has been a monologue but i don't mind if this feedbacks are collected and uh, some specific questions can be sent across to me uh, through through a particular channel I, i would be more than happy to respond to them uh, if it if, if really helps people i am okay open to that thank you very much Thank you sir. Bye 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 bye. Take care.